Hey guys, it's May with G-Rated Games, uh, back with Prey. So I decided instead of uh, just waiting and, uh, you know, waiting to find everything and running through this and running through that, I would just go ahead and go through and get to the helmet to get the neuro mods. I'll go back and show you where I found each of those things. Um, I already got a couple. I got the, of course, the kinetic last, and I got the morph ability from the mimics. Um, I only did number one and two. I haven't quite decided if I even want three. And now I am, where am I? I am in Psychotronics, which in Psychotronics, you have uh, Dr. Bellamy's body uh, for Corpse Vantage. You get his body from the morgue. Um, and, uh, you know, a few other things, but nothing like too... Yeah, and I also um, kind of blew a whole bunch of stuff up by using the powers I got from the Typhon. So hopefully I won't be completely ruining everything throughout here. And I have a full inventory as well. Um, so to get into Psychotronics, you have to go through the beginning storyline and... Uh, find Hello. hey and find uh, the general key card uh, general access code or key card which January gives you after you watch the video again um, so I mean maybe what I'll do is after everything's said and done I'll piece together a uh, a little walkthrough of how to um, get to this point and you know maybe other things that I find to be important but for now I'm just gonna um, go ahead and keep moving forward Hello, so while I was uh, running around Scanning. <clears throat> shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Well, I was right. Okay, so, so this is a uh, the helmet that makes it so that you can um, get Typhon abilities. It scans each Typhon, and right now it also shows me whenever there's a mimic uh, being a mimic. So while I was running around, I got a quest from uh, December, which was to get to the escape pod. Which I haven't done, so I'm kind of curious what happens if I do that. So I'm going to go back and do that. I'll save before I do so, so that then I don't have to, you know, go through all of this again. Um, but for now, just run back and give that a go, see what happens. Um, you know, like I said, I've never done it. So I don't know if it'll end the game or if someone will yell at you or if it's even possible to do. So that is what this episode's about. That's what I'll say. This episode's about escaping Talos 1 with the help of December. Which, by the sounds, when December was talking, it's an earlier version of January. Which makes sense, since December comes before January. You know, year speaking. I guess January comes first, but... Well, I guess it depends on how you're looking at it. January is the first. I don't know. I don't know how they figured out December and January. Maybe one was made in December, the other was made in January. I know it's February now. Not now now in my real life, but now is in now in the game's life. <clears throat> okay, so back at the lobby. I'm pretty sure I'm in the lobby. Yeah, that's where I was headed. So back at the lobby. So basically, all I'm doing is 
actually going to get rid of that objective to actually do what January wants and go ahead and do what December has suggested. So we got to go to the neuro. Well, basically, we're heading in the direction we came from originally. Uh, we're going back to where the whole game started with the apartment and the simulation. Um, and go from there. Maybe we'll, I, I think we'll meet December. Um, when I played before, I met December, but December was already destroyed when I met him, her, it, the, the robot. I really hate the load screens. They drive me crazy. Excuse me. Okay, right, so this could possibly be one of the endings. I don't I don't know. I mean maybe. I I didn't do it in my other files, so it's so, that music. The music makes you nervous. It it causes panic. You think something's... And where'd you go? Yeah. Alright, so... Hmm. That might be a problem. We need to get to the, I need to get to the level. Okay, so if I go up and this way. Um, so I already scanned all the mimics I needed to scan in order to get, um, all of their abilities. Which is why I'm not scanning. Oh, I don't know if I've scanned that though. Yeah, apparently I've scanned the type, uh, the phantom typings too. So. Oh, I can show you an ability right now. So. Oh, yeah. I'm a, not going to become a cup that way. Alright, so kinetic blast is kind of. Oh. He moved. Um, well, that's what I want to do. It didn't work. Alright, so this is not working out according to plan. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> that did not go anywhere near how I planned it to, but, you know, that's one of the type of melodies. That's uh, the one I got from scanning the phantoms, so. That explains why when they hit... Yeah, maybe we can do it on that thing. out really well. So as you can see, each uh, each one has a cooldown too, so yeah, you gotta wait through the cooldown. Mm, okay, so that's the apartment. Oh! Scan complete or 
Okay. So that's what the scan looks like. And, oh, jeez. That actually... Suit integrity damaged. vital signs critical. I don't know if I have enough food, but... So... I'm not sure if I got him. So that's the, uh, the electrical... Phantom. There you go. And all that goop on the floor, you step in that, and it starts to degrade your health. Um... Which doesn't help situations out any. Okay. So. It says I should be right in the right spot. Oh. Okay. I not seeing what I think I should be seeing, I guess. All right, so there's a corrupted machine. Serious. Scan complete. More specimens required. Um, okay, and so when you scan things, you get uh information about them and if you scan enough, I believe, yeah, you get notes from, uh, Morgan. And, uh, you know, gives you a little hint. I mean, other than that, you don't get much. <sighs> okay, get the key to Alex escape pod. Hid the key to Alex's private escape pod, and so it's under something. Let's just hope it's not under something I can't get to. to trash this place if I have to. This may end up being a bad thing, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so it's not under there. Oh. Just, just need to regret it. Okay, so Alex is smarter than I thought. I take the stun gun. Mm, I need those. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. We'll have to improvise. They're getting back in the foyer. Their office isn't safe. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so remote manipulation, use your mind to retrieve distant objects and interact with devices up to 10 meters away. Or machine mine. Yeah, we'll try it and see what it is. And... Oh, I guess I gotta do this phantom shift. Oh, okay. All right, so I think I'm just going to do that for now. Um, 
Well, you know what? I forgot I had all these things, so... I... Sweet. Okay, so that's definitely going to make life easier. Okay, so I remember how I said they wanted me to make the chair in the beginning. I can do it now. So we all know chairs do not jump. All right, where is the Poirier? I'm gonna say that's where I came from. Okay, those are the rooms I need to be on level two, so I need to go. Trying to make our way back to the foyer. Um on level two, so up the stairs we go behind me. I really like the ability to have the map. Um, otherwise, I would be completely and utterly lost. Um, which I'm thinking I might be completely and utterly lost anyways, but, you know, that doesn't matter. So... <clears throat> It seems a little selfish to do this quest, um, or this side mission to, uh, kind of just leave Talos 1 and let everybody, they're quarantining me. Important, you know, when everybody's destroyed and dead. Um, it seems, <laughs> I mean, whatever, I guess, if you can escape, escape. Aww. Morgan, that operator with an earlier defective model, or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working. January with. did it. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos One before it's too late. Did you find something interesting? So I didn't, I didn't realize January killed December. Um, uh, mine's a little blown right now. Um, if you leave and uh, go about your business and do January's quest, you hear December getting uh, destroyed. But I didn't realize it was January who did it. I thought maybe it was Alex or something. You know, not that I think Alex would be brave enough to come out and face all the Typhon that are out here. But that's kind of what I had assumed. I guess I should learn. Never assume. Which is actually a really good lesson. I mean, video games have taught me a lot, and now they taught me don't assume anything. You know nothing. So, I mean, it's really up to you guys if you want me to go back um, later on and figure out uh, our show where I got different things from or how different things are done. I'm not trying to skip things. Um, it's just, a, it, it takes a lot of time and I really just want to um, kind of do more walk through than just playing. Um, which is why I did skip the beginning area just to get to the, uh, the scanning, uh, scanning of the Typhons. Um, I'm going to run up to the office. 
before I continue further so that I can um get attacked by a mimic. Get um some of the junk out of my inventory. It is really hard to have such a limited inventory, but you know, it's it is what it is. Um and I'll work through that. I mean, I kind of used to it. I played like Resident Evil 1 and 2 um, back on the PlayStation. The original PlayStation. So, I mean, and that was the limited inventory. Oh, I thought January was a bad guy. Um, that's extremely limited inventory. I mean, at least this gives you some stuff. Yeah, no, I've also played a little bit of No Man's Sky. I know, I know, I feel you guys, but um, I was just curious, so I decided to play it a little bit. Uh, I didn't get too far into it. Oh man, I don't have anything good. Okay. Alright, so... I'm gonna leave some stuff here. Things that I know I don't need. I find myself coming back to the office a lot, so... Um... I'm not really too terribly concerned about leaving things here. I don't I think I'll particularly need or use. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. And I have a weapon upgrade, so Okay. Now we can move on. Alex is safe. So, that must be in the atrium. I don't know if I can get there yet. No harm in trying, though, right? Alright, so we're headed into the hardware labs. Um, by we, I mean me. And the load screen, of course, is... It makes you tired. Um, so we'll be through that soon. And oh my gosh. So my son went to, one of my son, both my sons went to Boston yesterday, um, to go to the aquarium and the chaperone that was with my youngest gave him one of these little fidget spinners and I kind of confiscated it from him. I feel a little bad, but you know, it's kind of entertaining, especially during loads. I don't know. I think they had a good time. I didn't really confiscated. I just took it so that he could go to bed last night. He can have a all right, so how's that not a target? Oh, what am I doing, dummy? Isn't that fantastic? It blows everything up. Of course, it also causes problems when you're near pipes, but whatever, you know. Ooh. Okay. So, oh man, I did some damage. No, that wasn't me. Alright, so turret guns now do not like me either. Because I have too much typhon. Oh, noise. I have too much typhon in me. So, it automatically shoots at me. Which January did warn me, so I guess I can't complain. Ah. Ah, these things are a pain in the butt. And they're like that, not because I'm a... I've, the type in mods, but they're like that because of the fact that they're being controlled by something else. 
Um, the only other thing is, is I got to be careful Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. with, um, with that kinetic ability because it will hit me and cause me problems. So I need three more of, uh, of these phantoms in order to get all their abilities. Um, so I think I'm going to take the phantom shift just to open up some of these. Um, and I got 11 narrow mods, so it's not like it's a huge deal that I use some of them. I mean, eventually I'll have a bunch, so... Oh, that's a regular phantom. Hello. I'll admit, that, <laughs> that ability is pretty cool. Uh, see what I mean about the pipes, though? Ah, uh, forgot about the electrical current. Yeah. Well, that was fantastic. But, yeah, the electrical current will kill you quickly. And so either if you're going with like, um, normal mods, uh, human mods, you can repair them. If not, you got to constantly stick a glue gun up its butt. Oh yeah. I'm not going to waste my bullets. Okay, so, <clears throat> back to finding what I need to find. Uh, headed for Alex's safe. Might as well scan these while I'm here. Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. Oh, cool. I don't know what I got. Mmm. I guess that'd be helpful in a way, but I I just I don't think I'm gonna take it. I kinda want more of the you know, mods that cause things to explode. Oh, those things are such a... Oh, come on. Um... Hello. Are so you as great as these are... Warning. Suit integrity damage. So as great as the, uh... As these abilities are, they're also kind of not good. Because not only do they damage your enemy, but they damage you as well. So I'm hoping to get one that's a little bit better and doesn't cause me damage. Um, I don't need to go in there. Uh, not sure if I will. I don't. I'm not really. So Alex is safe. Oh, the freaking! I forgot about it again. All right, I'm gonna stop forgetting that exists. Ah. Gotta get my suit repaired too. Uh, if you press, press the Psy ability thing, it fills up your Psy, um, with one of the hypo things.
Um, oh, cool. I didn't know I had that. I totally should have known that was a mimic. I'll grab everything else. Um, I wonder when I got that code. Well, that's neat. Uh, some more neuro mods, so that'll help <clears throat> in the future. So radiation poisoning is a thing. <sighs> that mimic was stupid. Um, I gotta see if I can move these. No, I could just cause chaos and destruction. Manipulate. Hmm, there's a manipulation one, but I don't know. Well, that's convenient. Except for the fact that it isn't all at the same time. That'll take a lot. Of psi energy to use. Hmm. <laughs> I can't go through. Great. Okay, um, let's see, is there a neural mod that, I guess I won't know for a little while. Okay, Alex is safe, so that's what I'm headed for. I'm not sure why they're leading me outside, other than maybe because I'm too... It's too soon. Okay, yeah. So I gotta go through the main story more before I... Before I can go and do what December wanted me to do. So... I guess off I go. Actually, I might be able to just... Ah, I don't want to risk it. Okay, so... Power. Hello, are you here for an appointment? So I need to get to the... The gut system. Which... Oh, I don't... <gasps> oh, that made my heart stop. I thought I saw something moving. I was... It was nothing. I saw nothing. So, what I think I'm going to do is just end this um, here. And once I get into the lobby, go back up to Morgan's office and, uh, or get into psychotronics, because that's where I really need to be. For the main story. So I'll get into psychotronics and uh, while I'm there, show you, I, I can show you later or in the next video um, where Dr. Bellamy's body is and where I got the helmet. Um, I just don't want to extend this too long. I want to make sure that it's uh, a good length of time. Okay, so we're in the lobby. And here's Psychotronics. And where we technically, well, I need to be.
Okay, so I'm just going to end this here. I'm going into psychotronics. Um, in the next one, I'll show you where I found Dr. Bellamy's body and where I found the, uh, the head, the helmet. Um, and then we'll see if we can uh, go ahead and find the key, the escape pod key and try and escape Talos 1. Um, so thank you for watching. As usual, if you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.